I'm here at Shannon Court in Medford. It is a beautiful home. I know you're gonna love it. Everything's well taken care of, some nice updates. Um, I just wanna give a minute to talk outside. I know the owner's inside doing some work and I really appreciate him letting us in today. Um, unfortunately, the pool is covered right now, so it's kind of hard to judge the condition of the pool. Um, I do see from the previous photos, it looks great. He's only had it for a couple years, and based off the information provided, you should have another good 10 years or so for the surface. Um, the It has the brick coping on it, so it's the brick color, uh, and then it's a concrete pool. Um, and then I will show you some of the equipment. He did mention uh, that there's newer filters. It does have a whole pool heater, so including the, there is a hot tub portion at this end, I believe. <laughs> and so between the hot tub and the pool, it's, the heater is big enough to heat all of it, which is awesome. Some people only get enough that uh, only feed, heats the hot tub. And the problem with that, it takes a very long time to heat the pool. Should you want to open up early or extend the season, which I like to do. Um, so with that, they have the pool heater, newer filters. It is a DE filter, which is the best on the market. Uh, I know that because I spent money to get that. <laughs> um, so it's awesome. So I don't have the, um, pe there's peace of mind there for that. The roof looks newer. It's in good condition, even if it's, um, I think he said it was like 10 years old. So you've got another 20 years or so on that roof. They usually say about 30 years. The HVAC and everything and the furnace, they're at the, I think he said the 20 year mark. So uh, again, start budgeting for that, maybe future expenses. But as long as they're maintained properly, you are good to go there. Um, beautiful backyard setting, guys. This is beautiful. So you're on well here. So down in the basement, there I showed uh, the softener area. There's some maintenance. I'll give you a, a little pamphlet on that if you've never dealt with well before. And But they are on city water, which is awesome. The basement does have two sub pumps in either opposite corner. He says he don't, doesn't ever have water here. We're on the high end of the street. It kind of slopes down once you go down the street. And so you're good. There's no water in that basement. Plus, you have the backup sub pumps to pump out any extra water in case it gets to that level. There is also a humidifier on the HVAC system. So the great thing is in the winter, you're gonna have to use the heater. I know you're not gonna be used to it from coming from Hawaii, uh, but the heater does dry out the air. So that built-in humidifier in the system brings back some of that moisture so your nose isn't getting all, and your throat's not bad at night. Um, this does have these two benches right here have storage for the robot, for the pool and the chemicals in this one. This shed is nice. I'm gonna show you a video of that as in a second too. Um, it has electric, and then this other little shed is where they put all their fun pool floats as well. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick uh, run around while I have a minute to talk, and get excited about the rest of the house, all right? There is a dog run out here, I don't know if you noticed. Um, he hasn't mulched yet and hasn't cleared out that back space. He, there's a neighbor that's a landscaper that takes out all of the extra leaves in the back part. Um, but I think, you know, you guys are in good shape. Onward.
guys, I just wrapped up the showing in Medford. It's beautiful. I know you're going to fall in love. I was thinking, hmm, Heidi's probably going to want to ask for all the furniture too because it's a good selection. <laughs> um, but I'll, let me know what you guys think. Um, it's a great quiet neighborhood, very woodsy. There's lots to do around the area, nearby lakes, uh, hiking trails, dog parks. Um, a couple things to note, the wood, the flo wood floors are actual real wood. They are original wood. They've been refinished very nicely. Um, the lower sunken living room in the back is a laminate wood that was done later on. And other than that, there's nice good wood molding throughout. There's real ceramic tile in the bathrooms. And there are two attics. Um, they're just not, they're not connected. So there's the attic full pull down in the garage, in the two, uh, two car garage. And then there was the one in the upstairs hallway that I kind of panned at so you could see that. Um, you can see the master has two closets. Uh, one's a little bit deeper than the other. It's great. And they both have lights inside, so that's awesome. And then it has its own master en suite. A good amount of counter space in there. You could always add a double vanity if you really wanted to and then the um, stall shower in there. Um, they did kind of sneak that blue tub in the hall bathroom, but no worries, that's nothing that you can't fix with a can of um, tub glaze. You can actually buy it and you just reglaze the whole thing white. It's pretty much just painting it. Um, but that's a nice, quick, easy solution to that. Otherwise, you could probably get a new insert for a couple hundred dollars. But that's up to you. That's later down the road if you want to. That's the kids' bathroom, so no big deal there. <laughs> um, but all in all, um, I'm excited to hear what you guys think. I'll talk to you soon.